Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Pal World. In this video, I am going to show you the top 12 farming pals in the game, so you can have yourself an absolutely bonkers farm that's going to create a ton of random good resources for you. Now, it makes the game so much easier when you know what you're specifically looking for, and you can get some really powerful pals doing this. So, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that real quick, and all four, or I guess all 12 of them, are the uh they're, they're literally the epitome of make the game easier for you. you should definitely know all of these so i'm gonna use the pal deck in order to show you i'm gonna go from the worst one overall even though it's still good because it's still a farming ability to the best one overall and you can see this is obviously on our list but let's go ahead and get started number one on the list is the lamb ball now this thing is you can see it right here it's probably one of the first things you're going to actually capture in the game and uh, you can see that you can use it as shield, but when it's assigned to a range, it'll drop wool for you. Now that wool is really useful, obviously, because he's got the ability to transport things. So not only will he drop the wool, but if you put a box nearby, uh, this guy is going to transport it for you. So it's a very useful early game pal farm. So that's number one on our list. Now, number two on our list for the farming ability is the chickpea. Chickpea is going to lay an egg for you, which is incredibly useful because the egg actually provides nutrients for your pals. So if you want to put so basically you can literally create an automatic feeding farm just by having these eggs nearby for the chickpeas. They're also useful because eggs are needed to make the cake and the cake is used to breed and eggs actually used to make a whole bunch of different recipes in this game. So you definitely want to have a couple of chickpeas in one of your farming areas. Now, when you assign that to the ranch, that's why it's number two. Now, next on our list is Vixie. Vixie is incredibly useful early and should be one of the first things that you catch. Now, the reason it digs up random items it says however the vixie will actually dig up pal balls for you now early on that is really really useful for you having those pal spheres in order to actually do things is a massive massive game changer uh just due to the fact that i mean it, it really is nice now it says it digs up random items but it'll dig up pal spheres i think arrows is one of the items it'll dig up be useful obviously but it's a really awesome thing you should have a ton of vixies early on because of their value is kind of crazy actually now next up on our list is kremis now kremis you can see it increases the attack power of pals however the big thing is this guy is actually going to drop wool now even though you can actually go to the level one lamb ball in order to do it which is slightly Better, by the way, the land ball is slightly better because it will transport as well as whereas this guy, the Kremis, is actually only going to just farm for you and gather a little bit. Um, the land ball is better off, but the Kremis is next up on the list technically because it's got a higher overall pal number. Now, I would still recommend the land ball over the Kremis because the ability to pr provide wool is useful, but not all that great compared to the land ball. Now, next on our list is a very powerful duo. These are the Maus. Now, the Mao number 24 on the list actually digs up gold coins, which means you can have a absolutely insane amount of gold coins when you're going through this. Because Maus, if you have a cut, like let's say you get 10 of them inside of one of your pals or late game 15 inside of one of your areas, they are going to produce you tens of thousands of coins an hour. It's almost ridiculous the amount. As long as you keep them fed, they will produce an insane insane amount of gold coins for you very very useful especially when you're mid and late game and you want to buy some pals and other items and stuff like that having a mal farm will essentially change your game for you now next up on our list is another powerful one mozarina this guys will produce milk whether it's a male or female kind of weird to think about but these guys will drop milk if you put them inside of your pal farm now this is useful because milk is used for a ton of ingredients inside of pal world it can be used from anything from cake, obviously an important thing, to some of the more advanced recipes in late game that are going to give you a big boost. Now, people don't realize the value of some of those recipes, but they are really good. I'll go ahead and show you what I mean by that real quick. Where is my electric? There it is. Pick up this bread, because why not? Um, you can scroll to the bottom, and you'll actually see that there's things that increase work speed, increase defense, increase a lot of the stuff. And notice how milk is used in quite a few of them. Uh, you can see I Deer Deer Stew. It's hard to say Ike Theer Deer Stew, um, but it is used in quite a few of them, and it's very, very useful to have those things in your base. Now, that's the Moe's Arena. Next up on our list is another one that's pretty good, and this is due to the fact that these guys will naturally drop red berries, which is also used in quite a few recipes. So having a Caprity inside of your base 
is something really useful. Now, negative is they kind of have a tendency to wander around the plant. So you want to fix them to the farm and they will automatically drop red berries for you. Now, that is very, very useful. Um, it basically, you can see it offers berries to potential mates and the flavor is to their liking romance blossoms. Kind of cool, but basically just tells you that uh, it's really useful. Like these things, when you're in the thing, they're going to produce a ridiculous amount of berries, which is used for cake and other late game recipes, as well as just a simple thing that you can cook and get some basic nutrients out of. And the fact is, is they provide the food while farming, so it can be a useful thing to pop on any of your farms. Now, directly next to them is another thing that is somewhat useful, but I would argue, you know, it's not one of the most valuable things. Um, you can see this is the uh, Melpaca. Now, Melpacas will drop wool as well, but is the only thing that they can do. So I would highly, highly encourage you just to go with the Lamb Ball because a Lamb Ball will also transport your items, whereas the Melpaca isn't going to do that. All you have to do is set up that, like, uh, drop point out of I guess outside of your farm and it's a really useful thing so the mailpocket not bad but again when it's assigned to a farm it's not going to be super effective now this is probably the most utility one on this entire list a little further down on the list you, people mix these up by the way there's an Eliza bee and a bee guard bee guard is the one you want because the bee guard has a ridiculous number of skills but its farming ability means that it's going to drop honey for you and honey actually provides sand and food, so it's one of the best resources in the game. Great to keep everything moving, and it also has a ton of overall ability. So if you put it inside of a farm, it's gonna transport items to a box nearby, which is obviously super useful. So definitely have a, quite a few of these bee guards in your base because honey, plus transporting, plus farming, is a ridiculously valuable thing. Now, I'm sure they'll release higher level overall things in the late game, but farming level one, plus transporting and honey, big big change for the bee guard now next on our list is another one of those broken things that you can get really easily this is the flambell now if you want to see their habitat you can see that's where they are but the flambell is incredibly useful because when it is in your ranch it's going to give you a never-ending supply of flame organs flame organs are ridiculously valuable plus again it's another one of those creatures that has the farming ability plus the transporting ability it doesn't cost much food to have and they will literally automatically create a huge number of flame organs for you, which is really useful late game um, because you need a, a stupid amount for a lot of the late game recipes, which is useful. Now, again, farming and transporting that combination is really nice. And that's why it's number two on the most valuable farming list. Now, the number one farmer is the thing I kind of started off in the very beginning. There's a reason this guy is so valuable because it actually provides high quality cloth it is incredibly valuable now it produces high quality cloth when it's assigned to a ranch which can be something that's a pain in the butt to make in the late game but you basically get to skip the process of making it because you can just straight up make high quality cloth using one of these guys inside of your area to farm it you should definitely be utilizing it so that is one of the most valuable things in order to actually have all 12 of those things and you can honestly put all 12 of them in your base and put a uh, if you have your ranch like you see me right here just drop a box and these creatures will automatically specifically those land balls and the other things will just continue to drop over and over again the stuff inside the box for you so it's incredibly useful to be able to do that and you should definitely take advantage of it so hopefully this video helps you out and uh, if you have any other questions just let me know in the comments below all right teach